Alright guys, and in this video I'm going to show you the, my personal Scorpio setup. Uh, I think it's the best setup. Uh, you can tweak it as you like, but the four items that you'll be using are as follows. You have an imbued heart, trident, occult necklace and tormented bracelet. They should be your plus four. And if you get smited you lose an occult necklace, which nowadays is only about six or 500k even. It's dropped quite a lot, so you're not losing too much. Now, for your main setup, I would recommend the following. Monk's Robes, Book of Darkness. I think Book of Darkness is very good just for the prayer bonus as well as the mage bonus. Uh, Ancient Blessing. Any cheap blessing is worth it for the plus one prayer bonus, and it costs about 4k, so it's well worth it. Then Mystic Cat, Mystic Boots. A Beacon Ring. This is a free ring that you get from the What Lies Below quest, and it gives a plus two magic bonus. So it just helps uh, a little bit, and since it's free, you can get it from Zaf, uh, the battle shop, battle staff guy, in Varok. And for an inventory setup, I bring the following: I bring a black dehyde top and bottom. That's really up to you, but it just means that you should be able to tank the freezes, freezes to single much better. I bring a wilderness sword, as this instantly cuts the webs, so it's better than any other slash weapon. I bring a stamina potion to try and help run peak airs. A lockpick just for going into the pirate's cove. I bring 15k cash. Uh, this is just so I can use the wildy resource arena. So they're my two escape routes really. Um, the lockpick and the resource arena are the two main uh, escapes that I use. Alternatively you can run east past Chaos Ellie but that's another one. And then freezers, I bring 75 freezers and normally you're uh, partner will bring 75 too. So I'm going to pause now and yeah, once you're geared and looking like this, uh, meet me by the lever. Okay, so before you go over, eat an anglerfish over to get your health up and then grab another one out of the bank. And then away you go. And note, this is for duoing. Uh, what I do is I bring five super restores because that normally lasts me the time that an antidote will last. And I kind of don't want to go too much further than that because you end up risking an awful lot of money. And you may as well just bank. Um, I would not recommend doing it on World 18. World 18 is the world that has the emblem drops. But I definitely think it is not worth doing it on that world because there are just so many more PKs. Um, so, so this is the Wildy Resource Arena so you can just run here and use your money to get in here to escape and here's the pirate's place where you use your lockpick to escape. <laughs> so pray melee past these guys. Because uh, they can box you like, or headbutt you like 12s, I think is their max, so it's well worth praying. And pray range as you go in. Now the freezer should always go in first. Catch the freeze. And attack Scorpio. It's very important that you have auto retaliate off and then drink an anti-poison straight away. If you have an in heart, viewed heart, invigorate it. And then the kills are very quick and with a 10 second respawn time, duoing you should look at being getting around approximately 80 to 100 kills an hour and you should be able to tank it quite easily. Um, so then you just eat it. So I'm freezing every kill at the moment so that means I Get ready on the freezers, immediately freeze it, run away, and get on it like so. Uh, I have augury, so it may be worth flicking it to see, um, but I don't know how much of a difference it really makes. But uh, Keep your prayer on. And then this is how the kills go, and they just go on like so. LOL. <laughs> so 
Is it that? Uh, may as well.